It's the first defeat of their league campaign for AFC Telford United this afternoon. They've lost 3-2 to Boston United here at North Home, home of Gainsborough Trinity, and our manager Gavin Cowan with me. Um, Gavin, I sense a lot of disappointment in there in that you, you feel you've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with you know one of the promotion favourites, I think, there, and, and don't feel you've missed out by much. Yeah, I think we've gone more than toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I think, um, you know, we, we were saying that we could have got something from the game. I actually thought that, you know, we could have won the game. Um, <laughs> I asked the lads to win a battle today. I said, if you win the battle, you win the game. And I can't say they didn't win the battle. You know, it was, uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that as a player, as you know. I enjoyed that combative side. Um, and I enjoy my players doing that, you know. And I learned a lot from them today because, you know, if we're going to play football, we'll play football. And if they want to have a battle, we'll have a battle. So, you know, it was, it was, a, it was another great, um, great performance. I say great performance. It was, um, it was a very good performance uh, from the lads. And it's hard to criticise, you know. What I would say is, Either side of half time, you know, we have to be a little bit more astute and, you know, concentration levels have to be higher. Um, you know, it's disappointing to lose to essentially what ends up being the winning goal, the third goal, the lads two yards offside. I mean, we've, we've had the benefit, we had the live, live stream on in the dugout and the lads stood two yards offside. It's, you know, very frustrating. You know, the, I thought the referee was very good today, but the linesman was, you know, all at sea. So we have to be accountable for ourselves because ultimately we've conceded two other goals, but very disappointing to concede a third goal you know that essentially shouldn't have stood so you feel there's a lot of positives to come out of it even huge, though it's a yeah huge rich i thought we you know like i say i thought the lads were excellent to a man today you know they, they, we knew that they'd be a lot more rigid than gate said they'd be very back to front um a lot a lot of work's played off burrow and i think you know shane did a great job on him uh, i thought adam walker and jack Byrne were awesome in the midfield there you know so you know, we, the, the two lads up front obviously got their goal, so it's, it's hard to criticise the lads. You know, it's, we're not going to rejoice a, a loss, of course, but we, we do take a lot of positives from today. You know, we, we also have to be accountable for the fact that our concentration levels have to be through the roof. And you know, we played a lot of brilliant football. You see, the first first half we should have converted so many chances, but I don't want to be stood here every week saying that you know we were the best team, but. You know, they haven't converted chances. We've done that a lot this season. So I say a lot. We've done that against Blythe, certainly. So yeah, we're disappointed because we could have been out of sight at half time. But ultimately, with Boston, you're going to get like a team that are going to battle. They're going to. They've got staying power. You know, they're never going to give up. And 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 that's what brought them through today. But you know, it's very hard to criticise the players. It, what it is, it's a good performance that should have had more. We need to be slightly better in areas. You know, the linesman needs to help us a little bit by just doing his job. Um, and outside of that, we've now got to prepare for Alfreton next week, which becomes a massive game for us. Sure. I mean, certainly one of the positives that, to me that seems to come out of the game, if you've got Jason Oswell and Aaron Williams both on three league goals for the season for yeah. now, you know, they're almost in a little bit of a scoring competition with one another there and two, two great goals today as well. Yeah, and the joy is you hear them speak, you know, Barnsley and Jordan want them scoring goals as well and they want to get on the pitch and scoring goals and... Aussie doesn't care if it's Aaron scoring the goals and vice versa as long as they're getting them between them. You know, they, they have to play off each other, they work on their distances, they work on their, their partnerships. So, you know, at the end of the day, them scoring goals is, is a great bonus, but we want the three points, you know, and that's, that's really, with the performance today, we feel like we should have certainly had that, if not a draw. So, it's a good performance, we, you know, we've ruined the, the lack of concentration in areas, but ultimately it's a good performance, it's not the end of the world, it's against another good team. Um, you know, and again, I feel like the linesman could have helped us out by just doing his job there. Sure. And I guess in terms of other positives, um, you know, you've got, we've spoken about the balance of the side and you've got your two natural left footers in Courtney Meppen, Walters and Brendan Daniels both missing. But, you know, I, I don't know what the prognosis is with, with them in terms of absence. But, you know, you've got them to come back and strengthen that side. So yeah. there's more positives there, aren't there? Yeah, absolutely. It's another week that goes by and, um, you know, Brendan, you know, won't be far off now. And, Courtney I don't think it's going to be as bad as what we first thought so yeah I mean there's loads, loads of positives we're in a positive place in general you know ultimately the result hasn't gone for us so we can't throw our toys out the pram we're not going to rejoice a, a loss of course but there's lots of positive lots to work on we've gone up against a very very good side today who we've gone more than toe to toe with in my opinion um, and it bodes well for the season you know we've had probably what the, the best the league's going to throw at us and we're faring well but you know we we we're, we're now coming to places like this expecting three points and wanting three points so not so much expecting but certainly you know aiming for the three points so um yeah tough to take but ultimately we we uh, will live to fight another another day um the lads will be disappointed but not so disappointed that we can't be prepared for alpha next week okay that's great thanks for your time Gavin. Cheers, thank, you. thank you cheers thank you